Okay, so in this final part of the walk cycle, we're just going to add in a few more things that will give a more realistic impression of an animation. So again, we're going to go to his foot area, and we're going to make the foot roll at the back as it's a bit still a bit rigid. So if we look at it, it should have over in the channel box area, if we scroll down, a ball R, so that's the ball roll. So what we want to do is we want to bring it to frame 7, click on that and key that in on its right leg, just at 0. Okay. And then what we're going to do is we're going to come to frame 13, we're going to click on the ball R again and then inside this area we're going to middle mouse click, we're going to bring it to the right, and you can see this foot's going to raise. So we can raise that to about 3.9 and then key that in. So what you'll notice is his foot is coming down and then he's trying to get more grip on the floor as he's walking. We could probably get that up a bit more. 5.5. Um, also what we could do is since the, the knees are kind of like this angle, we can press W and bring the foot back further. Again, come up to the translate area and key that in. So now he's actually making a bigger stride. At frame 9, uh, we want to lose that angle on the foot, so we're going to come down to ball R, press 0. and key that in. But what we're going to do is we're going to come up to the rotate okay, frame 13 and we're going to key it in at 0 there and then at frame 19 what we want to do is rotate that foot so it's angled downwards and just key that in. So now we have a far more realistic movement on that foot. And again we just do that for the other leg. So at this point, at frame 0, the ball roll here should be up like that, up at 4 say. But since we put it up, we've got this angle in the joint, so we can actually move the foot back. So we key in the ball roll, and we can move up, and we key in the translate as well. So the, there were two things that we keyed in, and it was, it's going to be hard for me to copy and paste them from here. So if we move to frame 25, we see that it's totally different on both. So what we got to do is frame 0 we can see the key here we're just going to hold shift and click on it and it'll highlight it red and we just right click and then copy so we're just copying that keyframe and all its values here then we come up to frame 25 we want to delete this one so we're going to right click delete and then right click paste paste and that should do it so it should be the same on both Okay, so then we go to frame 7, and the ball roll should be at 0. Key that in. But the rotation on the foot should be more angled like that. So we just key that in as well. When it moves, there's contact. So here if we move down we see the ball rolls changed. Let me grab zero. Key that in. And then it'll move slightly like that. So if we cut out the 25th frame, just be moving that down to 24. 
we can press play and see how our animation is at the minute. I notice there's something wrong here at the end. So I'm gonna go. So we can see the ball roll here set to four, but also the rotation on the X is set to 32, which is kind of giving us a bit of an error. So I'm just gonna change that back to zero and then key that in. So set that back. Press and play. So now we've got a more realistic animation going on. So the last thing that we want to do